Hello and welcome to Bert's Imperfect Bakes, the channel where it's okay to not bake perfectly every time. I'm Bert and this week we're going to have a go at making some vegan cookie bars. Preheat your oven to 180 or 160 degrees fat. All the ingredients are listed in the description below. To start, mix the sugar, butter and yogurt in a bowl until combined. Add the flour and bicarbonate of soda via the sieve. I've already combined my bicarbonate flour into one. Add the vanilla. And a pinch of salt. Fold that in. Add the milk and oil. Give that a good mix. Finally, roughly chop the chocolate and add that in too. Once everything is nicely incorporated, you need to grease a square baking tray and line it with baking paper. Scrape the excess dough from your spoon. Then pour the very stiff batter into the tray. Say pour, more like dollop. Spread it out with great difficulty with your spatula. Until you remember you own an offset palette knife, which makes life a lot easier. So much easier. When the batter is all nice and evenly spread in the tray, pop it in the oven to bake for 20 to 25 minutes until golden brown on top. Like so. When you remove it from the oven, check it's cooked by inserting your skewer into the center like so. And if it comes out clean, it's cooked. Marvelous. So this has been cooling now for about 20 minutes. It's been in the oven for 25 minutes. I'm going to cut into it. How fat do you think a bar should be? I think I'll turn them into bites. I'm not the straightest cutter. Look at that, nice cookie. Dough cake. Husband? Tastes like a cookie. Tastes like a cookie. Well, I am still on a diet, but I am just going to have a little bite of this because I've been doing very well today. I 
I approve of that. I think you should make it. See you next time. What did you think of said vegan cake? It was edible. It was very nice, yes, very nice, yes. Would you have it again? I mean, if it's on the table, yeah. Excellent, thank you for your time. What was your opinion of said vegan cake? And would you know it was a vegan cake if I didn't tell you it was a vegan cake? No, I wouldn't know it was a vegan cake if you didn't tell me. It wasn't as moist as a normal cake would be, but I still liked it, still enjoyed it. And would you have it again? Yes, if my lovely daughter would make it for me again. Excellent, thank you for your time. What was your opinion of the vegan cake you just ate? Very nice. Would you know it was vegan if I didn't tell you it was vegan? No, I would have no idea. And would you have it again? Of course, yes, very nice. Excellent, thank you very much. No problem. So, grandmother, what's your opinion of that cake that you just ate? It's absolutely delicious, thank you very much. And would you know it was vegan if I didn't tell you it was vegan? No, I wouldn't know. And would you have it again? If it was on the table, would you eat it? <laughs> I'd say that as a no then. Thank you very much for your time. So, Uncle Frank of Camelot, having just gone from non-vegan to vegan, what is your opinion of said vegan cake that you have just eaten? Oh, unbelievable. And the, the vegan chocolate chips are bloody marvellous. I like it with the caramel sauce though. So can we uh, order one of them next time? And would you know it was vegan if I didn't tell you it was vegan? Robert's not having a conversation now because you didn't answer my question. <laughs> no, I wouldn't know it was vegan if you didn't tell me it was vegan. But now I know, I know, I know it's vegan because you told me it's vegan. And would you have it again? Oh, absolutely, most definitely. I'll put my order in right now. Bloody lovely. Thank you for your time. And welcome to Bert's Imperfect Bakes, a channel where it's okay to not bake perfectly every time. I'm Bert, and this week we're going to try vegan making. Oh, vegan baking. 